Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we've got the new version of the Ultimate Clash. Uh, the enemies have not changed, but the typings have all changed yet again. So I thought I would do this for a video and just power through um, this new version, just so you guys can see all the different stages. And uh, plus, hey, the uh, celebration isn't really giving me a lot of content to cover. So why not do everything we can, right? So the thing I always do, um, this is like my strategy for Battlefield, is I normally use mono teams all the way through. Um, but I use a heroes team in the uh, first fight because Nappa uh, is always the same type as the um, Jiren at the end. So, obviously, you want to, uh, wherever possible, save those teams. Um, I'm just going to bring a whole bunch of random. Let's bring you as well. Why not? So, bring the heroes team. Obviously, with uh, Toa being released, we now have two actual full heroes leaders. So, this will be incredibly easy. I had a quick look at the list for the typings, and there's definitely going to be some very easy ones uh, as we go through. So, we got no... Uh, no great 8 power ally on the rotation for Broly here, but to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't be surprised if we just one turn uh, Nappa here, because even without being able to get additional uh, super attacks and none of his links really active, we've got double, uh, we've got Toa on the rotation for support, so Broly should still hit reasonably hard, and uh, Toa and Fu link fairly well together. So, I mean, yeah, he's basically dead already. <laughs> so, Toa with the dodge and then Broly, 1.7 on the attack. He's going to take out Nappa. I like this. I know some people use either, like, the Ginyu Force or the free-to-play Bardock team as well. I think that's a very good uh, idea. Basically, just bring, like, a junk team that can destroy Nappa incredibly easily. And then you save both of your type advantage teams uh, for Jiren at the end. Because Jiren... He's not necessarily hard sometimes, but like the main thing is that he super attacks. He does a pretty decent amount of damage, but then his super attack also lowers your um, defense. So then what you often find is sometimes he will super attack you in like the first slot. And then the normal attacks that follow up after that do tons of damage. So what I always do for super tech is run a Goku family um, team. So we've got the uh, actual Goku family leader, and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the Super Tech 120 leader. Um, obviously, we know Gogeta is coming next on JP, but I am very interested to see what they do for the Angel Goku in terms of his EZA. Um, so we'll go ahead and put Gohan in slot 1, since he's going to be able to get that attack buff. And then you're sealed in the middle, so that's fine. We can't get the 18 key super for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but at least that means he keeps his defense. But I mean, since we're actually running decent leaders for this uh, setup, um, Gohan's definitely going to do a solid amount of time. Yeah, okay. And there we go. <laughs> so Gohan going to get the additional and uh, just take care of Demon King Piccolo all by himself. Basically 9 million damage across two super attacks. So, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. That's <laughs> level one clear uh, incredibly easily. But I do think mono teams is the way to go. Um, it's also much less hassle because it's easier to, uh, when you're, like, adding your units for uh, this mode, you just do, like, an ev a fairly even number of all of the ten, like, typings, like super tech, extreme tech, etc. You just use, like, a pretty standard set of uh, units or like a standard number of units for all of those typings, and then it makes it easier. So, uh, Super STR, uh, we'll go for Kabe and then Vegeta. So most of the people on the team will only be getting the 120 leader skill, but obviously this team is just incredibly good in general. Let's uh, bring that Gohan as well, one of the best support units for super types in the game. One of the only thing that I really change when I play through uh, Ultimate Clash is switching up whether I do super or extreme teams first. Um, and obviously based on your own box, like personally, you will obviously know which of those you have the uh, better options for. Um, I would say all of mine are fairly powerful but if you have any of those like category well i say categories but any of those color typings that are 
much weaker than the other so like if your extreme agl is much weaker than your super agl then obviously you just want to use the extreme one first uh, because it kind of goes without saying that the later fights are slightly harder so i know barbody for this particular one is uh str i think which means you have to use an AGL team. I would definitely recommend saving Super AGL for him because he seals all your units super attacks, but he's kind of weak on his own. Um, and Super AGL, I'm just going to throw Super Vegio on there, and chances are he will uh, just counter-attack him to death in a very short amount of time. So so we've got Pycon. We're still doing Super Type, so we'll go Super Physical. And let's see who we got here. So we'll use Gohan as the leader. And then we will use... Uh, we'll use this guy because then pure Saiyans get a slightly higher buff. So we'll bring you. Might as well bring Super Saiyan 4 for Geo because, you know, he's the man. And then we'll bring a couple of support units that are both pure Saiyans as well. So should be pretty straightforward here for Mr. Pycon. Let's see what we get for a starting rotation here. Oh, we got Super Saiyan 4 for Geo, And we can put him in slot 1. Let's do that. So slot one for you. Um, we'll keep all of these physical orbs at the side here, ready for one of the LRs on the next turn. But Vegio should do fairly well here. He's obviously not getting a full attack stat. He's getting 120 from the Gohan and then 100 from the uh, Vegia. But he still crits for 4.2 million. <laughs> and then an additional as well. He's uh, doing a repeat of the Tech Gohan here. Double crits as well. Look at that. He survives with the tiniest sliver of health. Come on, super attack me and get countered. Uh, is he just going to normal attack me? How boring. So, <laughs> Super Saiyan 2 Goku going to finish him off here. But yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Vegio, even without two like proper full category level leader skills, absolutely destroying Pike on there. So, I mean, obviously no one, I don't think anyone really complains that this mode is that hard unless you are a newer player. Once you can build very solid versions of all of the mono teams, um, I think this is fine. Like, obviously, I've been playing for a long time. Like, ever since Battlefield first came out, I've, I've essentially never struggled with this mode. So, um, I think for most people, it's not super difficult. But let's go with... Um, we can't run a full Kamehameha or Goku family team. But, like, most of the units fall into one of those. And then they both have a 120 Super AGL sub leader skill anyway. So, we'll bring Spirit Wars or Goku, bring you, and then let's just bring Gohan for support. So, hopefully, if we get really lucky, we can get Vegito on the first rotation um, with multiple attacks stacked up in the same spot. Because really, the team that we bring isn't super important. I mean, there you go. <laughs> so, everyone's sealed. Uh, Vegito can go first, and yeah. So, uh, because everybody gets sealed, it's not like a huge deal necessarily who you really bring on the team but you always want to against this barbody potentially bring units that can either counter or have like multiple attacks built into their passive and um, because you can't super attack so the more times you can attack the quicker you can get this done but he doesn't hit very hard and he doesn't have a huge amount of hp so if he's not gonna super super for geo i think we just kill him with counter attacks <laughs> so yeah that was a uh that was a pretty good first rotation for uh, <laughs> for that team. So that is level 2 clear already. So we can move on to number 3. We're kind of uh, definitely speed running through this stage a little bit. As you can see, my uh, I'm very close to ranking up. So I uh, decided to jump into this stage. By the time I'm done doing this, you can see here my stamina will be up to 46. And then I'm going to use a boost to do 23.8. And then that's going to push me over to rank up and give me my full stamina. So, who should we do first? I guess we'll just start in the top corner. So, we'll go for Boo. Now, Boo, uh, physical, super, super easy for me. Um, if you have the right units to do it, you can make a full transformation boost team by using both the transformation boost leaders. And then we got Sealus, 21, Cell, Janemba, and Fat Boo are all on Transformation Boost. So this is a full double leads Transformation Boost team. So definitely going to be very, very easy for this one. Uh, any any of the stages where you are able to do that, run like the multiple category sort of lead setup is uh, obviously very beneficial. So I'm going to keep Sealus around. I'm a big fan of Sealus. Um, 
I managed to rainbow him from the very first uh, Heroes banner while trying to go for dupes of the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan and Trunks. So he is very solid. Maybe one day I should get around to link leveling him, but I don't. With the heroes category becoming so much stronger, I haven't used him a huge amount. I kind of. This is the only place I really use him, like all the time, is on the Extreme STR Battlefield team. But especially once he transforms. I did a rainbow showcase from quite a while ago, and it was uh, way before link levels came out. But especially once he transforms, he's able to put out some pretty crazy numbers. So I do, uh, I do quite like that, Sealess. Um, so we'll give all of these to Cell. Uh, no super for Boo, unfortunately. And then we'll leave those STR orbs on the side there. So Fabu can heal, which is kind of annoying. But obviously with the fact that we can run the double category leads for this team, um, everybody's got a ton of defense. Our overall HP for the team is incredibly high. So we're not going to struggle here at all plus we can lower attack and all that sort of stuff on this fat boo so 21 gonna lower his attack here as well as the fact she heals on super so we're basically on full hp again now and then yeah we don't take any damage how much is this gonna do yeah 49k which considering we have 426 uh, k hp with this team there's uh nothing really to worry about there so the only annoying thing about this fight is all the uh, the candy like gumming up the field so we can't get uh, super attacks with everybody. That coupled with the fact that he heals can be kind of annoying because you can see he definitely heals a pretty significant amount of HP every single time. Um, but you know our units do hit pretty hard especially when we get crits. Um, no super for cooler though unfortunately. But Sealess might finish him off here. 1.8 on the attack. Because obviously Cooler is buffing the transformation boost allies as well. So yeah, there we go. Nice big crit from Sealess. And we take out Fat Boo. So who have we got next? Give me these Battlefield memories. I need to save these up because I'm uh, quite behind on buying the copies of uh, Freezer and King Cold. So potentially that's what I'll be doing with these points. But... So Extreme AGL. Very easy to make a very strong Extreme AGL team. Obviously, 21, uh, Super 17. <laughs> Getting my androids confused. I mean, I love 21, but we also love Super 17, right? So, Super 17 obviously now has the higher leader skill, thanks to his easy A. And then we'll bring Rildo, I guess, for the extra key. So, then we'll just bring... I guess we can mostly bring supports. Um, I'll bring Zamasu, though, as well. Why not? And then there we go. So this will be very, very straightforward, especially if we can get Super 17 on an early rotation and get some hits on him like this. So we can even get a hit before he gets to attack. And then, oh wow, he actually links up better with you. Fierce Battle and Nightmare. So I guess they only have Fierce Battle. Yeah, okay. So do this. Plus, of course, Boo, uh, Boo Piccolo is a power absorption support unit which is a uh, category that super 17 is on so yeah 2.1 first turn considering we're not on category leads that is pretty good we do have double supports on the rotation i guess so kind of to be expected um boo piccolo i think i've only got one dupe in mind he's definitely a unit that i would like to get more dupes for i really really like the margin power slash power absorption team um and he's a staple on that team for me so getting extra dupes for him would be good he's not fully linked level to 10 but i did start doing him because the power absorption team was one of the first teams i started doing after the worldwide celebration so i definitely need to uh get him finished off but would definitely like to pull at least one more copy of him so we can get the uh get all the star abilities and everything unlocked so baby in slot one with the support he links super well with the rildo uh, my baby has two dupes so i think potentially he could even finish it off here because uh, he links fairly well with rildo and rildo is providing the 50 percent support so yeah three million attack stat and we're under what a 130 and a 120 lead so that is pretty good oh didn't quite take him out but we're getting the additional so Hey, the additional with the crit is enough to take out Turles. So, pretty decent. 
Um, almost done with level three. I guess halfway through the first part here. And then the question is going to be, which team shall we use against Jiren first? The Super or Extreme Int? Uh, right, so we want Physical for Dispo. Physical, there's a ton of options. Um, technically, there are enough units on the Boo categories to make a full like margin power or power absorption team. But I don't have all of them set. So we'll bring Super Boo, because obviously it gives the 4 key. And then we can either run Cooler or Goku Black. They have the 120 across the board. But we'll bring the Boos since they all link up so well together. And then we'll bring the Androids because they work pretty well together as well. So even though we're only running double 120 leads, this will be very straightforward. Cooler, I feel like, is one of the 120 leads who definitely didn't get like power crept as much as some of the other ones. Because um, obviously in harder events where you do require quite a lot of defense in order to survive the later parts, he can be a bit of a liability. But in the shorter term events, uh, physical Final Form Cooler is still pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what his EZA is going to be. And so <laughs> Dispo dodges our super attacks and then Cell straight away hits him back with the level 3 dodge. That's what you like to see. So Cooler... Reasonable enough attack stat. I mean, look at that. It does decent damage off the crit. Obviously, we do have the Super Boo. And then we got the two additionals, although they were only normal attacks. But pretty decent. And then, of course, Super Boo. All of my 50% 50, uh, 50 supports are all no dupes. So, obviously, not the craziest numbers from him. But he is still very good. And then let's get... I think got 188. Yeah, so he gives you uh, Fierce Battle. So... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. Put Kid Boo in slot one. Grab all of these for you. And then these. I think my androids have one dupe in the LR. Um, so as long as Dispo doesn't dodge the androids, then it'll be GG here for sure. Well, Kid Boo, Kid Boo might even finish it off if he crits. Oh, well. Dispo going to dodge. And then he's going to super attack Kid Boo, of course. Why not? This isn't Super Battle Road. You're not supposed to super attack just before you die. But 2.5 on the Android, so yeah, Dispo definitely done here. <laughs> yeah, especially with a uh, 4.25 million crit. We take that. So there's only Topo to go. Now, one, one thing you can do for Topo, obviously I used my super teams first. Um, but because Topo is AGL, you're going to be using a tech team. If you bring a super tech team against him... You can obviously bring the Tech Khalifla, who has a 100% chance to dodge against Universe Survival Saga enemies. So, of course, that will come in very handy uh, in these fights here. So, uh, we might as well bring the Freezers and all the Cells. Um, and then we'll bring Broly and Raditz, since they link up pretty well together. And then we should be all good here. Double 120 leads again for this scenario so again you can see with the way i built some of the teams uh potentially it would have been better to bring the um oh let's see actually yeah no we will yeah let's do that grab those now, he's not getting hit so let's just give him these in the middle because then we can give you all of those and actually get the 18 key super Okay, we should do a lot of damage in this one turn. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is, with the way I built my teams, as you could probably see throughout the video, it was a lot easier for me to build categories out of most of the super teams, um, aside from Extreme STR. So obviously, if you're in a similar boat, it might be a wise decision to save those ones for the later stages. Plus, of course, you can always mix and match between super and extreme. There's no reason to do it the way I did and just use all super and then all extreme. Um, like I say, if there are more teams that you can build full categories for, then it might be smarter to save those for later. Um, again, it all kind of varies. Battlefield is all very uh, variant on your like the strength of your box overall. Um, but you definitely do want to be saving the more powerful teams um, for closer to the end. So, key not so great on this rotation, unfortunately. But grab those for you. And then... Can't get a super for Raditz, so let's drop these down here. Not great for the key on this turn, unfortunately. But 
I also just realised I put Brody in slot three last turn, so I probably should have kept rabbits on rotation. But I mean, one of the big things as well, of course, about these battlefield fights, even as you get towards the end, they're not the longest uh, fights that you're going to do in the game. So we probably won't even see Broly again because now we've got the triple cell rotation. So I think we're probably uh, we're probably done here. So it does get more key by being in the middle. Does he get extra key from you? Yeah, he does. So we'll keep you in the first slot then just so we can get the 18 key super. And then we'll get these. And then we'll get all of these. So we should be GG for Topo on this turn. Um, 1.3 on the prime battle cell. Not bad. I do love that little like zoom in on his 18 key and we're going to additional into the 12 key as well so I think we're pretty much on full HP anyway but decent amount of damage from you um, first uh, the second form cell again like I say all the 50% support units have no dupes for me so not going to hit the craziest numbers and he still takes a little bit of damage but then of course the easy a tech cell heals on super anyway but I'm just going to take him out with a crit so now we go on to Jiren um, and since we're doing the extreme ones and Jiren is a super type enemy I guess we will stick to extreme int for the first one and see how we go obviously that gives us the ability to use Janemba I'm pretty sure he's in my selection yeah no he isn't okay oh yeah no okay so extreme int the way I build my extreme in is to do a resurrected warriors like full team build aside from Vegeta just because he has the four key and 120 lead but Angel Freezer has, of course has the resurrected warriors leader skill which includes LR Cell, Bojack, the Metal Cooler Army, the Metal Cooler support unit and Kid Buu and of course you know pre easy A on global Kid Buu doesn't have the uh, the best key links or anything like that. He's not level 10 links for me and there's no other character with the margin link on this team. So we might struggle with key for him a little bit. I was going to say, unless we get a turn like this where we have the um, support Vegeta. So what we can do, because I know Jiren really likes to super attack in slot 1. So I'm going to put Kid Buu in slot 1 because he heals on super attack. So if this very first attack from Jiren is a super then this does actually work out kind of well for us here. Hey, look at that, see? I mean, you can tell I've done this enough times, but yeah. He, he seems to very regularly super attack in slot one. So now, thanks to Kid Buu's super attack effect, we're going to get a very nice amount of healing off of uh, him supering. Oh, he's going to double super as well. Let's go. So we're basically going to be back to full health. Now, the only downside as i mentioned earlier in the video is jiren does lower defense so these normal attacks yeah they're still going to do a little bit of damage to kid boo 32k but from that double super we basically went back up to full hp so uh yeah we're only sat at about 85 percent now which is very very good here and then uh Vegeta, again 55 percent for me not going to do a ton of damage but there's that in unit level 5 dodge you love to see it and then we've got the... Uh, this is a very good rotation. Um, can't get a lot of key for Bojack though, unfortunately. But we can get a ton of key for the Metal Cooler Army. And then we might as well grab that. Get a little bit of healing off. Uh, is he going to... Okay, well, he's going to super attack in slot one again. So Bojack does have decent defense. But his defense is definitely a lot better when your health is lower at the start of the turn. So that's a lot of damage though. And 10k, I mean, after having his defense lowered from the super attack, that's actually really good. And then nearly a 2.5 million attack stat on the Metal Cooler army. If they can fire off a bunch of additionals, I think we might even be done this turn. Yeah, crit normal. Another crit normal. Uh, didn't get the extra super at the end, though, so I don't think he's going to finish him. No. Final health bar, though. I mean, kind of got destroyed a little bit. So they don't have any key links, do they? So we can't get a super for whoever we put in slot one, which is unfortunate. So let's put you in slot one, drop down these so we can connect the orbs and grab all of those for sale. We are on kind of low health though, so if he super attacks Kid Buu, we might die. So yeah, Kid Buu didn't additional, but he didn't super Kid Buu. So Cell going to come in and finish him off. 
And there you go. We still had the Super Int team waiting in the wings in case they were needed, but they were not. And we finished off Jiren with the Extreme Int team. So there you go. That is the new battlefield. Those are all the bosses. Those are all the typings. That is the strategy that I use to go through battlefield like every single time. Sometimes I switch up between the order I use the super or the extreme. But other than that, that is how I roll for Battlefield. So let's go and have a look in the shop. I think I saw Goresh post yesterday that they'd already added the last copy of King Cold and Mecha Freezer. So... Yeah, see, I was still a bit behind. I didn't get one other copy of them. I've spent a lot of my Battlefield points on orbs as well. Um... I've never bothered getting the Krillin or the 18 or those two. Um, they're all solid, like, quote-unquote, free-to-play cards. But with the level of the box that I have, I just don't think I would ever use them. So we'll go ahead and pick up a copy of uh, these guys. And then I'm just going to have to wait to get that final one. But there you go. Let me know how you got on with this new Battlefield. Um, and how you what you think of Battlefield in general. Is it easy for you? Is it a bit more challenging? Uh, obviously, any tips or advice you need, let us know in the comments or check out the link to my Discord in the description. Uh, people will be more than happy to help over there as well. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.